It's the most wonderful time of the year for movie buffs and stargazers. Hollywood is coming north of the border, and Terry Hart has the A-list breakdown. It's one of the biggest cultural events in the world, and Canada plays host. Of course, it's the Toronto International Film Festival, and it's another star-studded affair. Jake Gyllenhaal's latest, Demolition, directed by Canadian Jean-Marc Vallée, will open the festival in September. I'm here. I've been, I was always. I always wanted to come here. He's just on a tear right now. He's amazing. Give people the rundown of a few people that they can see walking carpets. A couple of Oscar winners from last year. Two mics, wow. Okay, Eddie Redmond launched his film Theory of Everything last year. He's back with The Danish Girl this year. It's always great to be here. Julianne Moore launched her film Still Alice, which won her the Oscar last year. She's back with a new film called Free Help with Canadian Ellen Page. They are both terrific in it. I'm only asking for equality. The Martian, Ridley Scott's new film with Matt Damon. Woo! In your face, Neil Armstrong. Plus director Deepa Mehta's Biba Boys. This is a gangster movie? It's a gangster film. Viva Boys is a gangster film. A trail of drugs, a trail of blood. It is one of the largest, most carefully programmed and interesting festivals. The event began as the Festival of Festivals back in 1976, so this year marks the 40th anniversary. And of course, City has been there since day one. Well, this is the schedule from the very first film festival. You see it grow from nothing? into this, nobody had a clue what it would become. Canadian Denis Villeneuve's Sicario, starring Emily Blunt, Johnny Depp's Black Mass, and Tom Hardy's Legend are also coming to T.O., along with the world premiere of Michael Moore's Where to Invade Next. The 40th anniversary of the Toronto International Film Festival kicks off September 10th, and Entertainment City has you covered. Adam, back to you. Thanks, Terry. And with more films still to be announced, we've got a few that are probably not and the full Canadian lineup will be announced next Wednesday. We'll let you know which films to look out for. In the meantime, the vacation reboot hits theaters today, and the stars tell Terry why this is a road trip worth taking. That's the 2015 Tartan Prancer. It's the Honda of Albania. Let's hit the road. The car is an endless supply of jokes. And what was it like in real life? Just a blast. I mean, especially with these guys. This baby is pretty sweet. Except for it's not a real car. There's no air conditioning. You can't put the windows down. Um, it's like a go-kart. If Vin Diesel can do it, so can I. Why are you as good as Vin Diesel? Hang on! It was just as dysfunctional in real life as it's supposed to be in the film. Like, halfway through, our doors decided to stop opening from the inside and the back, so we just couldn't get out of the car. There's, like, a little cylinder that has gas that's in the bumper, so that it, you, the smell of gas would, like, reek through the car. Making a comedy is not for the fan of her. It's not. Okay, it's, it's not. No. No. If you had a dream to take your family to Wally World, never let that go. If you held up Rusty and Clark side by side, Rusty's a little more vulnerable, maybe, like a little bit... Maybe a little more sensitive. <laughs> the first vacation was 33 years ago. Right. Why now for a reboot? There's no time limit on the family vacation. Right. There's nothing inherent to the 80s that, you know, you can't do it now. And remember, you can get all of your entertainment news anytime on Twitter, at NCity.